Good, Good morning. morning from Kona or mm -hmm. Kalua Kona, Kalua I guess. Kona. Yeah. There is no land to be seen out there on our side. We're just I haven't seen it yet. Floating in the ocean. Yeah. It's well, a tender port. It is. So step one of today is to go up to Pink Champagne Bar or down on deck <laughs> six and get a tender ticket so we yes. can get in line to get on a lib boat and go ashore. Mm hmm um, step two is have fun. Yeah. So let's go do step one so we can <laughs> do step two. Sounds good. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. If you have a tender ticket for group four or five. Well, we walked up and they were giving out group four tender tickets. So they're like, what time do you want to go? We're like, no, it's good. <laughs> so here we go. All right. We have found the fray. We've been released. We gotta head down some stairs out here and look a little cloudy today, but hey, at least we see land. And we are tendering via lifeboat. Hey, Alex. Oh, yeah, be on the lookout for dolphins, they said. This area is known for them. Yeah, one of the few times I've had to ride a lifeboat in my life, and hopefully I don't have to very often ever again. <laughs> oh, see the tender duck. Here we go. We have made it ashore. That was quite the little step, but at least they did have a set of steps they could put down for us to get out of there. Oh gosh, it looks like Dee's in jail. There you go. Hey, you're out of jail. Oh, he was trying to find out if anybody had tours, which we do not. We are keeping it free and easy today. Got some tunes kicking up. Every now and then you just gotta have one of those free flowing days where you don't book a tour, you don't have a grand plan, you just pick out a few food spots that you can walk to. So our first mission in Kona is breakfast, possibly including Kona coffee. And we had espied some stuff on the Google up here along this seawall. So we'll just start off with a stroll. Iron Man triathlon. Well, I'm not up for that this morning. <laughs> wow, I guess that little sign means, hey, this is a splash zone. Whoa. Can we get my eyes? Uh-oh. You may have to run. I can't run any shoes. I'll fall. Wahoo! <laughs> So this is a cute little beach over here that no one seems to go to. I mean, it's, you know, pretty rocky, and I guess this area is you might get injured by the waves. right by the large wave area. Yeah. All right, let's keep wandering. Oh, yeah, what is this house? It says you can go in it. The grounds close at four. Oh, this is the Hulihei Palace. Okay, it was built in 1838 by a companion of Kamehameha, one of the first chiefs to take up western ways. Nifty. Wow. That's so pretty. We could live here. This is we've chosen to rent this for our day on the island, so this is this is where we're moving in. I could easily live on any Hawaiian island so far. Well, yeah. Oh, they're so pretty. You mean permanently? We can't afford that place permanently. Just maybe for the day. For the day. Yeah. All right. Ah, oh, yes, of course, the ABC store. We've seen a couple of those already. Ah, oh, Hilo Hattie. Okay, people said to check that out. Nice, we're gonna come back by this way, so we'll do our shopping afterwards. Ooh, a farmer's market, Wednesdays through Sundays. Today is, um, Wednesday, I think. We are not here for King Kamehameha Day. That's this Saturday, huh. We have made it. According to TripAdvisor, one of the best breakfasts on Kona is basic acai. Looks like it's upstairs from Snorkel Bob's. Uh, looks like the right place. There's the menu. They got like six different choices. Well, now we can just chill out here outside. I guess that's Huggos. All right, you ended up getting a forager. Forager. I don't remember. <laughs> I got the Kilauea. Don't know what's in it, but all I can tell is they are cold, and they seem like they're going to be delightful. Mm. Now we can breathe a sigh of relief. That was really good. Yeah. We had a. I guess they're semi-healthy, right? Acai bowls. I mean, it's like a smoothie, and yeah. then you put a whole bunch of healthy toppings on it. Yeah, I had goji berries, bee <laughs> pollen, I ate all kinds of stuff today. But, we still have not gotten Kona coffee, so... We um, have to do that in Kona. That's gonna be the next stop, so it was about, I think it said 0.8 miles, call it three quarters of a mile from the ship to get over here. And unless you're, you know, really into acai bowls, it was a great acai bowl. It was. But you can find other breakfast options if you're not. We were just feeling smoothie bowls today. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna head back toward the ship now, not go, you know, get on no, it, no, but no, we'll no. find some coffee spots on the way, head back to the beach. So we're walking to get food. Yes! <laughs> Balance! That's right. Goodbye, Hugo Snorkel Bobs and Basic Cafe. <laughs> Which is probably Hugo's, but it looks like Hugo's. 
Our next stop is gonna bring us to the Kona Inn Shopping Village. Well, when you want Kona coffee, come to a place that has Kona coffee prominent in the name. Oh gosh, I got all kinds of coffee flavors and whatnot. Chocolate macadamia. Chocolate macadamia yeah, sounds it's delicious. Oh, yeah, wow. it's a dark one. Okay, so we get to try the vanilla and the and chocolate it's macadamia. Like, it's subtle, more caffeine, and the dark roast is always more rich in the coffee flavor, a little lighter in the couch. No, we got the stuff. All right, here, let's doctor it up. I got a little dash of cream in mine. That's funny, they also sell what they call donkey balls here, which are basically coated macadamia nuts. There's a store in the same complex that sells them that we're gonna go take a peek at, but I didn't know you could just grab some here. <laughs> so I got an iced coconut cream coffee, and of course that's, they flavor their beans. It's not like there's mm -hmm. coconut cream in it. They had a Kahlua flavored one where they use the plant oils. No artificial flavors. This is a vanilla macadamia nut. It's a lighter roast. I did the latte and it's so good. You can taste the flavor, it's delicious. Yeah. Ding! <laughs> Kona coffee. <laughs> Dole Whip floats and Bubba and Fins. Okay, there's all kinds of good stuff around here. Hello, Hilo Hattie. It is the store of Hawaii. They got those little cuddly things from the ship. There's a lot of cute stuff. I don't know what sizes they carry up to. I mean, I already got my one Hawaiian shirt that I needed, but just for curiosity's sake. All right, I'm seeing two XLs and things in their uh, upper registers here. She asked us if we were here with the ship today, and she came over and gave us a lay. So, oh, that's very bright. Good night, beach. Kona Lisa Coffee. <laughs> well, we have done it. We have found the surfing coffee company where they sell donkey balls. Apparently they have uh, cigars and stuff like that and a giant hugging donkey. This looks like a classy place. I like it. Real Kona coffee. Oh gosh, I might get another one. I finished mine super fast. Look at all these flavors of balls. They have no nut balls in cookie and cream. Dingleberry coconuts. Okay, this is my kind of store. Where has this store been all my life? Honey. <laughs> It's hilarious. Here are some of their official varieties. Oh yeah. Yep. No, I can't even read this menu out loud. It's too hot for YouTube. Oh yeah. Dark chocolate flaky balls with some coconut on them. That's fine. Mocha sounds delicious. You could even get some rub my meat seasoning or some rub my honey seasoning. Huh. Well, we grabbed some balls. Um, got a nice iced coffee, and he actually gave us an apple banana for free. He said he had friends who bring some apple bananas, so we get to check that out. All right, so this apparently is an apple banana. That's as big as they get. We're just going to stand here in the street eating an apple banana. Very often. Nothing wrong with that. Does it oh. taste? Whoa! Does it taste different? It's like. Maybe it's because we're in Hawaii. Maybe. But it definitely has a different taste. It's good. You better share. <laughs> good. Welcome back to banana tasting in Hawaii. <laughs> oh, I can already tell. Yeah, it's sweeter, right? As soon as I smell it, I have banana lips now. <laughs> that is a lot sweeter. Mm -hmm. That's some potent banana. It's good. Am I very close? No. <laughs> you make me run into people. Good. Come here. Ask him for a free banana. He said he always has them. Yeah. Now we're finally going to have a wander back over toward the pier and some beaches and whatnot. So just past the port area here in front of the, uh, I guess it's a courtyard, the King Kamehameha Hotel, is a little beach, which is free to use. Mm -hmm. Nice and sandy. And it also offers some snorkeling uh, opportunities. Oh, and there's like a little village over there. Cool. Well, we got our little towels laid down, staked out a claim. Guess we'll see what we get up to here. There's a couple of other options if this one's not uh, working out to too much, but hey, this is super convenient because literally the tenders come right into that dock over there. Got some folks checking out some fish by the wall. Yeah, deep is cold, so. <laughs> Just kind of commit to it. I look so attractive right now, yeah. I mean, you got a lot of color going on, but it looks good. It looks good. <laughs> there she goes. Well, if she screamed, she was underwater, and we can't hear her. <laughs> Burr! <laughs> It's funny, when we were planning our day today, I kept thinking this was kind of a little bit of a throwaway beach. I'm like, okay, there's a beach by the port, that looks easy, and it probably won't be that great. And then I started doing research on it, and it actually is listed as one of the more like family 
children friendly beaches because it's got enough stuff here to block the waves it's nice and shallow sandy hopefully a little bit of snorkeling action for d but definitely some sandy swimming for me so i think we did good with our very slight <laughs> research into kona <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, what is your update? So, there is some really good snorkeling actually. If you come on well i haven't gone over there but this side of this cool structure yeah, true. there's like a huge rock i don't know if it's coral but there's a bunch of rocks and there's so many of the yellow fish and the ones that look like gill from finding nemo <laughs> and parrot fish and all sorts of stuff um and then as you go out even further there's more you have to be careful though because the current is a little strong because the waves are crashing against oh, others so, and there is a buoy line a little further so you can't okay. go too too far i was worried about boat traffic gotcha yeah you won't get that um but no it's it's a really great free snorkeling yeah, spot right off the fish i'm super excited yeah did i say right off the right fish right off the fish that's fine <laughs> Right off you know the it's on my mind. Yep. <laughs> and right it looks off like, the ship. It almost looks like they have a little ramp that comes down <laughs> into the water, but I'm not sure. I haven't seen that. Yeah, we'll get off the fish and come out here and look for ships. <laughs> I'm glad I at least caught myself. <laughs> I'm assuming that little structure over there might be a boat ramp, obviously. But if there's a buoy line, I don't know. Anyway. Well, let's jump out of this beach and do some more exploring. Whoa! And a nice little foot shower right there. Surf Splash Automatic Foot Shower. It's also a little <laughs> bit of a skirt shower. <laughs> they have an Ululani's right here at the Courtyard Marriott, and you know that's been our favorite shave ice so far. Anyway, real food first, and we will come right back. <laughs> well, there is the front of the Courtyard property. We're just gonna wind our way down here to a seafood spot that seems to be pretty popular and highly rated. Ooh, cool artwork. Yeah. I like these murals. Well, we've been thwarted by fences, shortcuts, and whatnot, but I think our destination is almost in sight. We have made it to Umeke's Fish Market Bar and Grill. Look at that, they got today's catch freshly hung out here for a photo op. Just kidding. All right, we're officially on the wait list and it says we can track our time using Yelp. That's interesting. We could just bask in some trees now while we wait. It said it was about a 9 to 19 minute wait. Of course, we chose outside seating and it said that might make your wait longer because of limited tables, but I'm not really suitable for inside seating right now because I'm a little drippy. Cool, I'm able to just jump on Yelp and it shows me we are currently second in line. Ooh, just like that, our table is ready. Nice. Wow, this is a huge table for just the two of us. Look how much food we can order. Let's peek at the menu. That's right, this place has a ton of poke style options, which I knew is right up Dee's alley. Poke, poke road. That's where she lives. <laughs> Guys, there's a fun fan thing on our table. Is this to like keep bugs away or just to play with? I don't know, I turned it on and- Stick your hand in it. It's exciting. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't move fast enough to hurt me probably, but yeah. That's cool. It's interesting. I'm Speaking amazed nice at little cool. things. I yeah. So. No, it doesn't seem to be really <laughs> moving any air around. No. Probably just enough to scare a bug <laughs> or a bird. Aww. Well, we started with a couple of beverages. I went with the Big Island Mai Tai. They stuck olive on there. I'm totally gonna give that to Dee because um. I think that's a blueberry. Is it a cherry. blueberry? It's a cherry. Oh, it looks like a, it looks like a stinking black olive, y'all. Okay, it's maybe well, it's a fruit. I think it's fruit. Either way, you can eat it. Um, you got something that looks festive. I like the bamboo paper straw, actually. Something pounda? Yeah, I don't remember it's what's in it. Negroni and like uh, passion fruit and grapefruit. It's like a slushy. It sounded really good because it's not sweet, it's bitter. Okay, it's got some stuff on the rim. I don't even know what's going on. That's good. If you don't like sweet drinks, I don't, like, I don't like super sweet. You can taste the grapefruit, it's like that. Oh, it bites you. I yeah. love it. <laughs> All right, well, we're off to a good start. 
Ah. We're walking. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, updates. These are strong. Um, turns out I think it was a rum soaked cherry, which I gave to D. And he didn't want it. Her drink seems to be rimmed with Ling powder, which has become one of my favorite new little flavors the sweet and sour. Nice. Nice atmosphere. Look at our jungle. Look at this atmosphere. So much atmosphere out here. <laughs> Our appetizer course has arrived. We went with the Kahlua pork nachos. That's okay. Yeah, they're done on, I guess this is like a fried wonton type thing. Oh, Kahlua pork, seaweed salad, some kind of sauce. Let's just spin it around in all its gloriousness. All right, enough of that. <laughs> Entrees are here. How was your appetizer experience? Oh, so good. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. Uh, so you went with poke, it's surprise, the surprise. Dayavo poke, poke, which, um, is avocado basically okay so it's nothing spicy in it um and then i got the fiddle fern salad on the side because i've never had fiddle ferns so. that's true i have not it either. looks delicious and then your rice with your furikake yeah i went with the short rib dish i decided to stay mostly on the land brown <laughs> rice with the furikake and lomi lomi which is the salmon preparation. It's they good. had this at the Luau and I totally missed it. It's like salmon, tomatoes, and onions. It's one of my favorite things, yeah. yeah. But I already have that. So. <laughs> so there we go, a little land and a little sea. Yum. Oh, well that was pretty superb, oh, I would yeah, say. Really <laughs> All right, let's turn to the right here. Since we've come this far, we're gonna go take a peek at another beach and see if we feel like hopping in or maybe we'll just get some pretty views. So from Hawaii, we will turn left on Kaiwi. Well, we've reached a private roadway. Mm, let's see how this goes. Okay, this nice gentleman came out here. This is signed uh, no beach access public or private property and all that stuff. But he came out and said that you actually can uh, cut down here and you go what? This way around this baseball field? Okay. He said a lot of people usually go park over there and cut across the soccer field, but on foot it's kind of hard to, uh, to tell. So yeah. anyway. So don't try to go in through the Kona Bay private entrance right there. You go over this way. Yeah. See, this is all private residential. They said all the beaches in Hawaii are technically public, but you shouldn't really access them via private. So, hey. So there's the parking where the people cut across the soccer field. Yeah, then you have to go down this thing. So, you know, nobody said that finding cool stuff was easy. <laughs> and then it looks like there's a little access around the corner. There we go. Shoreline public access. Woohoo! That was something fun that our gypsy guide told us is that I think every beach is public and even the private properties that build near the beach have to provide a public access by law. Ooh, there's a good sandy entrance down there. Lots of lava rock. Hey, there's a ship out there. This is a nice little hidden gem over here. All right, awesome. let's swim. Nice, this is an interesting sand texture. You've got a lot more lava stuff going on. Yeah, this is a good mix. I see rocky stuff. There's enough sand for me to get in here and get deep and putter around. Nice. And you got a beautiful view of the ship. That's true. You can sit here and make sure the ship didn't leave you. All right, I have found my zone. I'm deep enough to get down and get refreshed. I think the uh, the security guard we talked to over at the other place said that they call this Cakey Cove, which essentially is kids or child's cove. So again, we see lots of families here, lots of kids, very calm. There's like all these lava rocks, I guess, act as sort of a breakwater and get rid of those pesky waves. I like it. Now our heroic mermaid snorkels in lava rock. Cool. <laughs> this place looks awesome. People are out there walking on the lava rock. <laughs> You could see the how the lava flowed and just stop, like you know we saw yesterday at volcanoes. Yeah. That's so cool underwater. Lava exploration combined with snorkeling. This might be the spot. The <laughs> perfect spot. I'm having fun already. <laughs> and the temperature is lovely. Yeah, it seems a little not as cold over yeah. here. A little wavier because some of these do get through, but really not bad at all. Well worth the walk all the way over here. Yeah. Now there are more direct paths than what we took. We obviously took a lunch detour. It was worth it. Yeah, but this is really, if uh, I think it was if you cut back through a couple of parking lots or around, I mean, I feel like we're only about maybe three quarters of a mile from the beach or if even that we started at this morning and i mean there's the ship Hi. <laughs> bye it's clear too it's a lot clearer 
So you actually found legit... They don't look quite like that. <laughs> uh, maybe that's more Australian I mean, style. Pretty sure it was a clownfish. It was a new fish, if nothing else. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to say it's a clownfish. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it is about quarter to three, and I guess we're going to say goodbye to our little area over oh. here. I know. <laughs> actually, Dee's the one who came up with the idea. I'm just out here enjoying myself, and I she's like... She's like, we got to go. This ocean sucks. I'm like, all right, I guess we'll, guess we'll go. Because <laughs> last tender, I don't think I showed the sign this morning, was 5 p.m. was the last tender. We were supposed to be back on board by 5.30 to leave by 6. All right, goodbye, pretty beach. We'll miss you. All right, we are all packed up and ready to find the shortest path back to the ship. Oh, there's a little lizard right here by this sign. Hey, friend, you're a cute little lizard. Keep your cakey beach clean. All right, let's see if I can zoom in on this lizard without scaring him, because he's got some cool patterns. Guys, it's lizard time. He's got like an orange, I don't know, some orange speckles on his back. He's a welcoming committee. Welcome. We're leaving. Aloha. Either way, it works. It works. All right, so these are the steps to follow in reverse if you want to find this beach. So we're going to stamp the sand off of our feet, stomp, stamp, however that works, and cross this little crosswalk. Mm -hmm through this wall through this wall right here you go through the wall magic Probably. yep then we're going to climb this cool rock thing here at the corner of the baseball field That's where it meets favorite. up with the soccer uh, field so if you're driving boom parking lot soccer field we are walking so baseball field baseball diamond field <laughs> so past the creepy graffiti d <laughs> sweeping stuff out of her off of her feet and these is a greatly decorated um, water fountains. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, pretty much as soon as this dark oh. fence disappears, mm -hmm. yeah, this probably is good. As soon as the fence disappears, you should be able to find a way to scramble up here. Okay. So this will take us back out to where you can see the Kona Bay entrance, but we are going to head in this direction, away from the private property. Now at this point, it's pretty much just a right-hand turn to get over to the Marriott, so I'm curious to see what is, I mean, the courtyard by Marriott. What is the first one we can come across that's not private property? We're learning. So that obviously is a no trespassing. This little road would be a good cut through, but it has a closed gate. I don't know if that's only for vehicular traffic. Huh. Yeah, that little area right there with the yellow gate would have been the shortest path, but I don't know. I would rather take a few extra steps than be in the wrong and go on somebody else's property. Hmm. Yeah, see, I think we're looking at the back side of the hotel right there, but this parking lot technically says private property, do not enter, so I'm going to do not enter. So we have come all the way out to Kuakini Highway. We're just going to hang a right. And we know we're allowed to walk on these sidewalks. <laughs> we see you, hotel. We'll be there eventually. Uh, some delicious shave ice waiting for us. We do have a turn in here at what looks to be sort of a used auto dealership. But again, I see fencing back there. Yeah, fences are usually not very welcoming, so we'll keep going straight. <laughs> Look at those clouds up there. Oh yeah, definitely fences. All right, on we go. They have a wild mushroom buffet right there. Yum. So the next intersection is Palani Road, and I know that would get us there, 
We're just passing King Kamehameha Mall, and I think we can cut across the mall. Let's try it. Oh no, this is a big drop off over here with like a fence and some barbed wire on top. They really don't want you. They really here. don't. All right, hotel, we're getting there eventually. So we're gonna go all the way up here to Palani and hang this right. Oh, we found boba tea by accident. All right, we've got to save our appetite for shave ice. You know we're tempted by boba tea though. Now this is just an exercise in futility. I was like, oh, we're gonna find a cool shortcut. We're gonna be able to tell people how to do this properly. Uh-huh. There it is, just down the hill. Woohoo! Guys, just follow the roads. It's the smart thing to do. Hallelujah. Kamehameha. Ululanis, we are ready for you. Are you still open? Question mark. I see people inside. Oh, well, I don't know if that just courtyard Ululanis no, is closed. Help. All right, we do see people in there. We see ice going in bowls and stuff like that. I think we just have to access it from the inside. Okay. All right, here we go. We can do this. Inside entrance for the win. Oh, we're in business. Cash only today, but that's all right. Cute, they even have holes in the table to act as holders. <laughs> so Dee got the haleakala, which was what, leche? Leche and coconut. Okay. With a snow cap that comes for free, because it's the only one that comes for right, free snow cap. condensed milk. And then the mac uh, ice cream. Oh yes. We no. just walked like five miles. So. Yes. I ended up getting tamarind, lingui, and mango, also with the macadamia nut ice cream in the middle. I forgot to say snow cap, but you know what? I'm fine without my snow cap. This looks good. All right, Ululanis, you are still number one for that soft, soft texture you got going on. I'm glad they were open. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's time to tender back to the ship. come back to the cabin to find a turtle and that <gasps> <laughs> it even makes noises it's so cute that's probably one of the better turtles yeah. i've seen look at this intricate shell design that's fancy <laughs> well, i suppose everybody is back on board we're well past the time of the last tender and we seem to be rotating and leaving because i don't remember seeing any land from my balcony before oh yeah no we're definitely moving Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. Good aloha. <laughs> Y'all, we are ready for dinner. We are all cleaned up yeah. and fresh smelling clean. That's Whatever what you do after are. you go to the beach. That's true. How was your day in Kona? So good. So what I loved about this port is how walkable everything was. You know, mm. we've been renting cars. You don't really need to. You can obviously do that. There's a ton to do beyond the area that we were. But what I liked was just how friendly everybody was like i was particularly Definitely. looking for a rash guard and if somebody at the store didn't have it they would tell you where to go get it the guy mm -hmm. gave us a free apple banana then we went to the beach and we were like at the security area and you're not really supposed to go there and he told yeah. us how to get to the he beach came like, out to help us everyone is so nice love it and it's yeah. so pretty here that's been on every island honestly. oh my gosh yes everybody is awesome yeah <laughs> the whole state yeah <laughs> Yeah, but we figured, you know, we needed sort of a free and frugal. Mm -hmm. Let's hang around the port, see what the heck we can come up with. And I think we had a good day. It was an amazing day. Yeah. No. Dinner time. MDR. Yeah. We haven't done a whole lot of no. MDR. Is this only our third time to the MDR? Uh, yes. Oh, it's been with really us. good, though. It has. All so over. We're going to go have some more of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's all I know. So mm -hmm. let's go eat food and wee hee. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Aloha. Aloha. Welcome to Skyline. Well, it is about a 25 to 30 minute wait for dinner, so they've given us a pager, and here's where they keep their knees. <laughs> Just, yeah, relaxing on one of these gigantic couchy things that we walked by the other day with a view of the ocean. All right. 
right, our buzzer has gone off. Let's eat food. Ooh, they are definitely jumping in here tonight. Oh, they gave us a table by the window so we can continue <laughs> with the beautiful views. Let us take a glance down both menus at the same time here. Very slowly so we can read all these fancy words. All right. There's our bread selection. I know he said cranberry walnut, a couple of baguettes, and a something else. Okay. Dessert selections. Oh, they've got a banana split on the adult menu. That makes me happy. Going up. <laughs> Boom. Oh, Boom. I'm so full. <laughs> We're in our room. Super full. Portions. Whoa, it's the really ship rocky. Is Sorry. Kind of moving. The portions on this ship are okay. huge. I'm mm -hmm. like, I know it's like an American staff. <laughs> like, I don't know if that has something to do with it. I don't know. Whew. Yeah, we don't have to eat it all, but it's huge portions. Mm -hmm. That's so, all. We're back in the cabin. The ship is bibble bobbling. Mm -hmm. um, there's a little bit of stuff going on tonight. I think there was a karaoke session. There um, is a the safe door keeps banging. <laughs> Uh, yeah, comedian earlier, but we missed them because of dinner. Having the one show at either 7 or 7.30 yeah. is a little awkward to dinner, but it's all right. But I think it's obviously because, you know, short staff and yeah. things like that. So. And reduced passengers, so yeah. you don't need as many shows. There's also 50s and 60s music, oh, I think, yeah. by the, the band. Um, okay. Some trivia and some sort of piano music. So, obviously, they're still doing activities and entertainment as much as they possibly can. We've just done a lot of Hawaii. We have Hawaii <laughs> to death. Okay. So we're tired. I know. But we're going to bed. We'll see yeah. y'all tomorrow. We're in Kauai for a glorious day and a half. Yes. I'm excited about that. That's, That's it. That's all I got. We'll see y'all tomorrow. See you then, guys. Come on. Bye. <laughs>